Hey everybody, today we're going to look at firmware version 1.08 for the DNS-323. Hi everybody and welcome back to another episode of Dealing TV DIY. I'm Mike and I'm here to help you get more out of your network. So today I have great news for PC, Mac, and Linux users alike. Firmware version 1.08 for the DNS-323 now allows applications to be added without the need for using the PC only Easy Search utility. Previously, you had to use the PC only Easy Search utility in order to add BitTorrent to the DNS-323. As you can see, BitTorrent is no longer there. That is because we've made it so that applications are now added much the same way firmware is upgraded. The best part is it's very simple to do and we've made a bunch of application packages available. So the first thing that I'm going to do is show you how to install an add-on, and then I'll give you a rundown of what each one does. Navigate your browser to the DNS-323 page on the D-Link support site. Under Additional Downloads, select the add-ons you want to upload to your DNS-323 and download them where they will be easy to find. Log into your DNS-323 and click the Advanced tab at the top of the page, then click the Add-ons button on the left side. At the top of the page, click the Browse button and navigate to where you saved your add-ons. After you've selected your add-on, just click the Apply button to upload the application. As you can see, adding a new application to the DNS-323 is really easy. So what do each of the applications do? Let's go ahead and take a look. The BitTorrent add-on allows you to download all different types of files using your DNS-323 without your PC involved. Next up is the SharePort add-on. This one is cool. It lets you connect just about any USB device to your DNS-323, such as a printer or external hard drive. Firefly is an add-on that will replace the built-in iTunes server to give you more functionality like playlists. NoIP allows you to use the NoIP Dynamic DNS service as you would with the other services that are pre-installed. The last add-on is NFS. This stands for Network File System and gives better connectivity for Mac and Linux users. Well, there you have it. Adding new capabilities to your DNS-323 is really simple. And if you need to know how to configure SharePort or any of the other applications, go ahead and watch the episode that's specific to that application. So that's going to do it for this episode of D-Link TV DIY. I'm Mike, and thanks for watching.